video let's have a quick look at dent uh, being listing listed on a new exchange called polarity so that's a pretty good news we just had yesterday and it looks like the volume is uh, picking up slowly it's roughly around it's not so huge it's roughly around uh, two thousand five hundred dollars worth of dent token being traded but it's a pretty good news from my point of view the reason i'm saying is dent didn't have any new exchange listing for many years the last previous exchange listing was um in 2018 uh, which is which was uh, with bitrex 2019 january bitrex so after that dent didn't have much uh, exchange listings so this is pretty good news uh, from my opinion but let's watch out how uh, the volume picks out and things um, go along for dent but uh, in general it looks the market looks pretty good at the moment because uh, it's stabling stabilizing around 0 0.007 po marks uh, if you look at the price it's it's pretty stable uh, around 001729 mark uh, people who have been watching bitcoin they know that the whole market has been collapsing uh, since past two three days so that's why you can see the price of 10 token as well being uh, smashed really hard but in general if you look at the market as a whole there are mo most of the top coin 100 coins uh, is just uh, is quite uh, highly hyped so people keep asking uh, when is the best time to buy 10 token this question i keep getting mostly in the comments so if you look at the top 100 tokens so before deciding which tokens uh, which time to buy let's uh, let's address which is the time not to buy basically if you know when not to buy then you will know when to buy very easily right so when is the time not to buy you need to not buy when something like this is there like look at cardona they don't have uh, the blockchain product ready but still it's hyped so much let's have a look how much it is have a look at the you know the coins initial coin offering ico price so this coin is seven nearly seven thousand percent higher than its ico price its ico price was once one one penny and right now it's more than one dollar and um, 42 cents worth and this is the one kind of ones which you should keep away from you should not be buying these kind of hyped coins because your returns is not going to be huge you know you, you cannot generate a generational wealth by jumping into this top 100 coins all the top 100 coins are phenomenally far away from their initial offering price let's have a look at you don't have to believe me you just blindly pick any coin in the top 100 and you will be astonished to see how much um, they have gone high and why you should be keeping away uh, from those coins so look at this binance coin Th this coin is 196000 percent which is close to 200000 percent higher than its initial coin offering price that is insane guys this is the these are the ones which you should be staying away from and not buying this is the time of these ones you should keep away from rather you what you should be going for is coins which have very good product real world which solves real world application and they have a real utilization and and at the same time the price is not overhyped and it's close to the ico price so if you look at dent it's roughly around just 2x close to 2x its ico price which is not so huge compared to what i showed uh, just now so you can think for yourself the best time to buy something is when no one is looking at it so you know all these youtubers are talking about uh, buying binance coin buy uh, ada or buy ethereum to 27k bitcoin going to three three hundred thousand dollars you have huge amount of youtubers talking about all the i don'ts but none of them are talking about coins altcoins which have real utility in the real world if you look at dent coin it has been in the market for more than three years now and the team has been actively constantly developing lots of new products you can see from this particular slide that there's lots of new products have been built on top of the dents ecosystem and this keeps growing as well they have they have got a lot of new things coming so they have a dent teams beta so which allows you to i would 
strongly request everyone to try downloading the Dent mobile app and understand how everything works and then make a decision for yourself. That's what I would strongly say because I, I'm not a qualified financial advisor. I cannot make any financial advice for anyone or on my behalf. So because I, I don't have that kind of intelligence or knowledge to do some financial advice. But as a product expert, so you can anyone can just download and play around with the product and have an understanding of how the product works which is it's not so complex complex to do so and then they have something called dent exchange as well so they have a dent exchange which is running behind the scenes uh, for every data plans that are bought within the mobile app so that's the slide it shows it's you have a dent exchange and then you have a front facing mobile app so people who who are, have an android phone they can download the mobile app by going to google play store and search for dent eSIM and then they can download the mobile app you can see the mobile app has already got more than 5 million downloads that was last updated a year ago probably now should be close to 10 10 million so i hope in next couple of years the number of downloads will hit close to 10 million uh, that's my hopes uh, and if you look at other other competitors i want to show some interesting numbers as well so if you look at the other competitors for dent um, I was yeah this is a slide I want to show so we all know that whoever following Dent Wireless you know that uh, Apple recently officially approved and recognized Dent Wireless as a worldwide eSIM service provider in 80 different countries so that's a very big news uh, which Dent have been working in close in partnership with Apple towards getting this um, support so now we are officially uh, recognized as a worldwide eSIM service provider and a mobile operator by Apple and now that's a very good news so what I did for today as an exercise is I want to look at the competitors for Dent Wireless because I want to understand what level of competition that Dent Wireless has and how Dent Wireless differentiates from their from its competitors and what kind of business model they have and whether they can generate more revenue channels compared to the other competitors. So I picked all of them, FlexiRoam, GeekSky, MTX Connect, Red T, and just now I showed you Dent Mobile has more than 5 million downloads on the Play Store, Google Play Store. And we don't know the number of downloads on the Apple iPhone users because Apple iPhone ecosystem is much, much bigger compared to the eSIM um, numbers that Android phones have. So if I look at that, I did a comparison. So Aralo, Ubigi, Truephone, Stock Mobile, YESIM, MTX Connect, GeekSky, FlexiRoam, No Roaming, 3 Hong Kong. All these are competitors who provide eSIM service, global eSIM plans. So let just look at their Play Store downloads. So this particular competitor has only 1000 downloads on the Play Store, which I uh, made a note just a month ago so this numbers might be different right now as we speak uh, but it's just a month ago we, I did this uh, chart so you can see Ubigi is 5000 downloads Truephone has 10,000 downloads and YESIM has only iOS app and then Stock Mobile has no mobile app it's only web portal Geeksky has roughly 10,000 downloads and none of these apps are anywhere close to Dent Mobile so Dent Wireless has got the phenomenal number of downloads compared to all its competitors. Just that's that's the level of competition that Dent Wireless is far, is far ahead. So when the first iPhone was launched, Steve Jobs said their phone, the first iPhone is five years ahead of all its competitors at that time in 2007. You can imagine that's that was a bold statement because when if the first day of the launch, the first mobile phone they launching, they said the statement that this phone is five years ahead of all its competitors. That is a very bold statement and still do today, even after roughly around 15 years um, of iPhone, still iPhone is very competitive and it's beating most of the smartphone sales in the entire globe. So now you can imagine the same is happening with uh, Dent Wireless. It's, it's beating all its competitors 
by phenomenal ways because the products that Dent Wireless offer are f is 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 not nowhere in comparison to its competitors. The the competitors all they have is are playing around with the price. I know the Dent plans are very expensive. People have complained a lot. We I I I know perfectly very well what they are talking about. But look at the products that they offer. So now, right now, the Dent mobile app is available only for the retail market. And the retail market is finding it really expensive compared to its competitors. But that landscape will change once they launch their other service pro platforms. Like uh, they launch for uh, Dent Gigastore is being launched in next this month. So once Gigastore launches, you are going to have quite a lot of businesses coming in and buying Dent tokens and selling Dent mobile data through third party providers. So when that happens, Dent doesn't have to do any more marketing. The, the businesses who bulk, buy the data in bulk and try to sell on their websites, they are going to do the marketing for Dent. They don't have to spend even a penny for marketing. The same way Apple did. Apple never had to do any marketing. And you know, most of the Apple iPhones are the most expensive phones on the earth. So this crazily priced, but still people love to love the iPhones and the still is very competitive compared to most of the smartphones in the world. So Dent Wireless is pretty much, is, is uh, you can see, is, is far ahead of all of its competitors on the Apple's website that you can see. And another thing that I want to point out is the total mobile subscribers. If you look at uh, the tourists, number of tourists, because the tourist market, you have to have a look. Because I know because of COVID-19, the tourism industry is quite affected and tourism and travel industry all have been really affected. But I hope things are getting better and world is slowly forgetting the impact of COVID-19 that happened in 2020. And businesses are st slowly starting up and hope 2021 late uh, summer is probably going to have a good time. The reason is, um, the vaccines are in massive rollout in different countries and tourism is going to open up and people would love to tra start traveling because they have saved some enough money in the past one and a half years of time and they will use it to spend in the next six months period so if that is to happen you can see the tourism stats here i have provided so china has 925 mobile subscribers in the world and then you have turkey with 80 million mobile subscribers and Mexico, then you have Thailand with 125 million subscribers. So just these 11 countries that I picked have roughly around 1.6 billion mobile subscribers. Remember the number, that's just 11 countries account for 1.6 billion mobile subscribers. And Dent eSIM is available in all of those countries. And let's look at the st tourism statistics that I got from Wikipedia. So China receives roughly 62.9 million tourists every year annually and their population is 1.3 billion and then you have Turkey uh, accounting for 45.8 million tourists every year and the number keeps going like that and you can see the number of tourists that are going on all these 11 countries accounts for roughly 328 million tourists that's a pretty huge number and all these 11 countries, they don't have international roaming agreement with the, any of the world telecom providers. That is a very important key thing. So these 11 countries, they charge the mobile data for tourists quite heavily. So there is no international roaming agreement with any of these countries. So these 11 countries, if you happen to travel, you are, be prepared that you need some sort of backup plan for your mobile data because you cannot rely on your home network provider because they will be charging you insane amount the moment you land in these countries they will send you a text message saying one mb of data costs one dollar or one mb of data costs uh, your local currency whatever it is so that much very expensive it could go and if you happen to use your phone accidentally for checking your emails or anything you would get a huge bill uh, when I traveled last time, I got the text message saying one MB of data costs one one dollar, and I accidentally used just to check mail and download a PDF at the 
um, airport and I, I got a bill for $550 for 50, using 50 MB of data. So imagine all these 11 countries, they don't have an international roaming agreement. So the people, this 328 million people traveling abroad, they need a backup plan. So all these 328 million people traveling to these 11 countries, they will start looking out for eSIM mobile data. So the, when, when they start looking at the competition and the competitors, they will probably really understand that Dent Wireless is probably the most leading better option they have compared to all the other providers. The reason I am saying they will find um, Dent Wireless as the best, the, the reason is very simple. Uh, the Dent offers a one year validity plan rather than uh, just like one one day plan or something like that. Instead, they, they provide a very huge um, validity plan and that makes it a very differentiated product for most of the people. Let's have a look at uh, for China. If I search for China and you will see Dent is picking up, uh, is listed here, you can see. And it's very popular product in terms of duration. If you look, Dent is, is on top on the list. And now the, the competitors are copying as well, the FlexiRoam and uh, MTX Connect. No, not MTS Connect. Flexirom is copying to pr trying to provide mimic um, flex, uh, Dent Wireless, but you can see the price is nowhere near. <laughs> dent Wireless is is unbeaten uh, rival compared to most of the other providers. So people going to China, they are going to come here to this eSIMDB comparison website, and they can easily find differentiate. And then when they go to Play Store and see the number of downloads they will make the decision for themselves instantly. There's no marketing needed or no big uh, philosophy or lecture to be done to make them convinced by mobile data for using Dent Wireless. It's going to be very easy for any Jim and Joe and mom and pop to easily understand and differentiate how easy it is to get uh, Dent Wireless. And the beauty is, uh, compared to all its competitors, Dent Wireless has a very beautiful, easy to use mobile app and their mobile app is in few clicks, four clicks in a in couple of minutes, you'll be able to buy the mobile data just like that. That's another great advantage as well. And imagine if these users, uh, just let's say 5% of this uh, 328 million users, let's not, I'm very being conservative here. Uh, I'm not saying we want 10% of all the, uh, uh, users. No, we are, I'm not going behind that. Let's say just 5% of these 328 million users, which are who are travelers or business travelers, they could be traveling, right? These are tourism statistics from the uh, annual website from their countries. So this, this is publicly available. So all these countries, they get this many tourists. So uh, the tourist number accounts for 328 million. So just imagine if I have to put, um, let's say, just five percent of the people uh, coming in to let's say put five percent that would account for roughly 16.5 million people uh, who are who are potentially can buy mobile data using dent wireless and imagine if this 16 million people just just they just they store uh, thousand tokens okay I'm not I'm, I'm let's say 5,000 tokens that's just let's say 5,000 tokens they buy and store it in the mobile app dent mobile app so let's uh, be very conservative and say they store that would account for roughly 82 billion tokens gone straight away from the supply so that's a lot pretty pretty huge number um, hope you can understand so I can make this a better because this 16.44 is in millions so let's uh, put a million at the end and then let's see that now you can see it accounts for 82 billion um, of the supply of the dent tokens that's why I keep saying uh, dent needs the 100 billion supply but people who are new to uh, crypto they keep saying uh, no dent may not touch one cent or may not touch its all-time eye because uh, it, the, because the supply is a big problem. But people have to understand the statistics. 
because Dent Wireless is providing a eSIM data plan and the eSIM data plan is targeted toward tourists and travelers and people who are going on business travel to other countries. Those are the target population for Dent Wireless, for the Dent uh, retail mobile app, which is available on the East uh, Play Store. So imagine just these 11 countries I have picked. I haven't picked, I'm, I'm, I have not included France, I have not included United Kingdom, I have not included um, uh, US or I have not included the European countries even. I have just picked random South Asian countries. Uh, you can imagine how big the potential is and picked up the I picked up the countries for a specific reason that is these 11 countries they don't have any international roaming agreement with any of the world telecom providers that is a huge thing uh, because they want their network to be used by the tourists and they can make money that way so they can buy the local sim in their own country itself but that landscape is changing now because of eSIM. So if you have an eSIM phone and if you're traveling to any of these 11 countries, you have a huge variety of option to uh, buy the mobile data. So you have uh, tons of, at least 15 companies, competitors are there for Dent Wireless, but all of them is, they offer only one product, which is eSIM data plan. Whereas Dent offers different products. You can do international voice calling from directly from the mobile app. That's a very big, advantage compared to all the co competitors none of the competitors could provide international calling service directly from the mobile app and still using your existing phone number so when you go to china and make an international call back to let's say us then you uh, you could make a call directly from your dent mobile app and your number will be visible to the opponent so that is a big uh, huge difference and let's have a look at in terms of the price for uh, voice plans that Dent provide. So if you look at most of the providers, Dent is competitively very cheap and uh, they, they are they are one of the most cheapest plans uh, I could think of. So I would strongly suggest you to try the Dent voice minutes as well, voice plan as well. So that is another product which none of the competitors have. You have uh, option and they have some sort of Dent staking program. So it's not staking, it's a reward program. I would call it as staking as well. It doesn't make difference. If you lock your Dent tokens in the mobile app for a month, you get free um, free uh, voice minutes and that is known as afterburner. So none of these incentives are available with any of the competitors for Dent Wireless. So they all they do is they just sell mobile data and they don't have any competitive products. That is a big advantage that Dent Wireless has. So folks, you can now understand even if the just the 5% of the tourist population in those 11 countries just contribute 1000 tokens, let's say 1000 tokens uh, in the mobile app. Instead of saying uh, hard coding it, I'm going to make it, um, let's see, I'm going to be very conservative here um, by saying the, so if even if they have to lock just thousand tokens out of this five percent of it then that would be like uh, 16 billion taken directly out of the supply and people who are new you might be remembering this is the token metrics at the moment uh, binance exchange and other cryptocurrency exchanges they have close to 45 billion uh, in the exchanges and dent app has roughly around 25 billion and then you have people uh, supporting and holding it in cold wallets roughly 30 billion so imagine if more people lock the uh, tokens in the dent mobile app then this number will increase substantially and this number will decrease so once you see decrease in the number of tokens circulating in the cryptocurrency exchanges then the price of the token will naturally go up substantially high so we will eventually see when Dent Wireless become a very household common name in the mobile world. So at the moment it is a very small startup company and they started their eSIM service plan just one year ago. Remember in people who have been watching Dent Wireless, they know that Dent Wireless launched the mobile virtual network operator program just from January 2019. So it's a, technically speaking in the eSIM space, Dent is just a one year old company. You have to remember that. 
and when you compare it to the com competitors like uh, Aralo or Ubigi, they have been in the market for around two to three years. But the imagine the products they have offer, the dent offer is quite huge. In just one year, their dev team has managed to develop so many things um, in their making and all these are going to be now available in the mobile app. So directly from the mobile app, you will be able to share your mobile data, you can buy mobile data and you can make international voice calling and you can even re get rewards for locking your tokens. So these all are going to come in the next three months time in the next version of the mobile app, which is Dent 4.0. And then they are going to release a newly revamped Dent Exchange portal. So people who are new, uh, please go to Dent.exchange and you can see uh, how the mobile regions where the Dent service is available. So this particular global map shows an idea of where, where which countries that Dent Wireless is available. So you can, you can scroll and see. It's a nice, beautiful UI they have developed. It's available in Mexico. It's available in Brazil in you have in algeria you have in morocco and then you have in china and you have in nepal uh, india myanmar and then you have in uh, vietnam lots of asian countries are also available so you have in uh, malaysia you have in indonesia and even in philippines philippines is a very popular destination for dent wireless and they have indonesia also and oh, Australia is not yet available, maybe uh, coming up in the soon. And then in US, it's, lo it's available in most of the parts. It's available in China mainland. So it's, it's you can just go and uh, have a look on the Dent uh, Wireless Dent.exchange website. And you can see the uh, the virtual mo mobile operators who are supporting the Dent Wireless. It's, it's, it's a big list. It's roughly around 141 countries they have uh, the operator support. So it's quite getting popular and i hope this will get really interesting in the next uh, three to four months time people just have patience and and i keep saying um, hold your tokens in the mobile app just ten thousand tokens right now ten thousand tokens is easy to buy but that is not going to be the case in next one year time at the moment ten thousand tokens cost like seventeen dollars uh, people who find value in using the mobile app, please lock 10,000 tokens. That would contribute to a huge pressure on the cryptocurrency exchanges. And that would take the sur circulating supply of the coins from the exchanges. And that will naturally create a price pressure. And once the tourism opens up, people who are traveling to these 11 countries, they will definitely start buying uh, more mobile app. And even if just 5% of the population, 5% of the tourist population start using the mobile data then we are going to see a huge uh, surge in the um, uh, number of people using it so if i put it the number as uh, d31 so you can see that will be huge percentage so now if just five percent of the tourists they use and store thousand tokens on the mobile app you will see that this 16 billion tokens getting locked away in just no time so but that has to happen only if a lot of people choose to lock the tokens I, I hope you get what i mean that's the reason i keep saying we have to uh, we have a role to play as uh, supporting the dent ecosystem by locking up 10000 tokens we could provide a huge pressure on the cryptocurrency exchanges so uh, let's do our part and let's people who are new to dent wireless uh, dent community channel please download the mobile app from your play store i know most of the people in the world they already have a smartphone in their hands and if you know what is a uh, cryptocurrency and if you know dent wireless i'm pretty sure you have a smartphone in your hand now you don't have any excuse not to download the mobile app and give it a try because that is the best way to support the ecosystem and contribute to the ecosystem as a whole and and imagine if just five percent of the tourist population contribute thousand tokens to the system to the ecosystem and lock it thousand data mobile thousand uh, ten tokens in the mobile app so that would create a 16 billion pressure on the cryptocurrency exchanges and imagine if people 
uh, go ahead and do 5000 tokens in the mobile app you will see 82 billion tokens will be directly taken away from the mobile app so that is pretty huge numbers guys so but you need to have patience for this number of five percent of the people because travel industry has to open up at the moment travel is quite affected travel industry and because of covid 19 it's not just dent wireless who has been affected all your competitors they are also affected yeah because they don't offer a, a cryptocurrency we don't know uh, how much they are affected but dent wireless is pretty unique they have a blockchain based uh, solution for the mobile uh, roaming and now since the token price has gone down people are panicking that dent wireless has score has been performing really bad but look at the other guys also they, if if you if you are affected by the eSIM space then your competitors are also going to be equally affected by covid 19 right it's not just dent wireless is losing its value most of these competitors also must have lost its value since they don't have a blockchain based tokenized uh, system we don't know their uh, losses but with dent wireless it's very publicly available because the token price has shrinked so much they have lost so much value in the past three years uh, in the bear market and now once the travel industry opens up things will change significantly 2021 and further 2021 2022 is going to be a huge phenomenal year for dent wireless and i'm pretty sure we will make the all-time high uh, and it will never you, you won't be able to see this prices of dent never again this is the last time you will see ever because it's even at this price um, you can see it is very close to the ico price compared to all your other top 100 coins top 100 coins you can see 210,000 percent higher than its initial coin offering price but people still want to uh, still hyping these tokens because they, they have a vested interest all the youtubers you go they are talking about these coins more often than dent so when is the best time to buy dent you you should buy a token when no one knows about it when no one knows about it something then the price will be really on the floor that's the best time to buy and if you now look at dent it's the price is really low because no one knows about dent so you make your decision when is the best time to buy something you need to buy something when no one knows about it if and that is the time when the price will be really on the floor so that's the time to buy so dent wireless right now is is on the floor it's going to go up phenomenally high in the next i'm not saying it will go up in next month next three months have a long-term perspective don't come and blame me i'm not giving you a financial advice i am talking only about the fundamentals of the product I may be going wrong in the future because in the past three years I have been wrong. You can see on the price, the price of the token in this chart. If anyone looks at this uh, all time chart, no one would buy dent <laughs> because you can see the line is pretty flat. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. No, no trader would go into this. That's why no YouTuber is talking about dent because they, when they look at this chart, they will make a decision. Okay, it's a scam coin. That's the decision they will make. Oh, it's a scam token. You can see the price of dent token come all the way it has down from all the way from 10 cents of the previous all time i was 10 cents all the way from 10 cents it dropped to 00001 triple zero one which is 100x down would any fool buy a token which is 100x down i don't think so anyone would but you have to look at the fundamentals of the business as well this is because traders look never look at the fundamental of the business what the business does or what the uh, uh, real world looks at it they don't care they only care about uh, their charts right but whereas people who are smart warren buffett is one of the most uh, wealthy person in the planet he is a value investor he, he doesn't look at the chart to uh, to make a decision of whether he should buy a stock or not he will look at the fundamentals of the business he will never look at the price of of the token or pr price of the stock you will always look at the fundamentals of the business and you will look at the revenue model of the business and their competitors and what is the uh, pop total volume of the market so you know dent wireless is a mobile telecom company right now as we speak and the just the top five telecom companies in the world they account for one one trillion dollar in revenue just five companies there are three thousand telecom operators in the world i think more than uh, three thousand 
telecom operators. So, so if you if you look as of December 2018, this statistics is as, as of uh, December 2018, there are 1,300 MENOs operating in 79 countries. And imagine, just the top five companies, they account for 1.5, 1 trillion, more than 1 trillion. That's why Elon Musk is very curious now to spin up a telecom company around the world and take a pie of that 1 trillion market industry. So if Warren Buffett, as one of the biggest richest man in the world, his strategy of investment is always based on fundamental analysis. He is a value investor. He invests in value, not at the what the traded price, what a trader decides as a price is not the real true value of a, an asset. So the true real value of an asset is lying behind its fundamentals. What is competitors are, what's the potential market size. These are the factors that determines the value of the business. Warren Buffett always makes his decision based on value investing, not on just looking at the charts. He would never look at the charts. He says he, he pays for the value and not for the traded value. Traded value is different from the fundamental value. Fundamental value is what decides the true nature of an asset. So from this perspective, if you look, dead wireless token is really undervalued and their business focus is really uh, professional. You can see th how many products they have developed in the past three years span. And imagine they have been in the crypto space for four years now as we speak. If they have to co quit, they could have done that long back. Once the price has smashed so hard, flat like this, they could have exited, but they have never done that. And they are still innovating, building actively, and they even tried to have a partnership with these are the new items that are going to come out in the next three to four months time and imagine they also uh, tweeted about starlink uh, they are playing around with a potential partnership looking for a potential partnership or prototype of their hardware with elon musk's spacex low latency data provider so they are trying to pitch some new partnership so we don't know whether it can happen or not but still as a company you should think how they are trying to get a pie of the bigger uh, 1.5 trillion telecom industry so they they could be potentially getting very popular once the travel industry opens and then in the next three to six months we are going to expect a lot of things coming up as well that's a important key factor that i would look so right now most of the iPhone users, they don't have all of the features that the Android phone users have. That is another gap as well. Now that is going to change. The next version of the mobile app is more tweaked for the iPhone users. So the iPhone users are going to have a lot of new updates in the next three to six months because the number of iPhones sold with eSIM account for roughly 750 million answers since 2018. The first eSIM phone was launched on 2018 October, which is the iPhone XR. Since then, all the iPhone models are eSIM compatible. So now, technically speaking, there are roughly 750 million smartphones with eSIM enabled devices are already available in the market. So imagine even if 5% of the people just as I showed this, most of the uh, people who are going on tourism to these top 11 countries who don't have an international roaming, they must be ultra rich people, at least a little bit richer than the average middle class people because uh, travel to these countries, they cost a lot of money. And most of them, I believe they should be, they will be having, a, if someone is traveling to such a far away distance for, for tour tourism, they must be having a really a, a, a iPhone or a smartphone and the, they will be using uh, the now the eSIM data plans. So now Dent Wireless has a very good potential chance of getting um, these users start using it. So and then once they realize these tokens have value, they, they could easily lock it in the mobile app and, it, and the app is very portable and it comes along with them and the, all the data plans they buy by within the app or valid for 365 days. I showed you um, how, how how valuable it could become because this eSIM DB website shows like say, if all the plans, the 20 GB plan, 10 GB plan, 5 GB, 3 GB, 1 GB plan, all are valid for 365 days. Imagine you go on a tourism to 
China and then you visit and then you come back with some leftover data. So now you could actually resell the leftover data in the directly from your mobile app because you may not be traveling that entire year after your visit to China. So if that is the case, you could actually sell your mobile data. That option is coming up in the next version of the mobile data. That's why I'm saying the next version of the release of the Dent mobile app is going to be swiping all the market players and Dent will be getting top, uh, becoming a top telecom company in the world. So once that happens, I believe getting a 10 billion market cap for Dent mobile is, is very, very conservative number. So 10 billion market cap for Dent uh, token would put the Dent token price at easily at 10 cents. That's why eating an all-time high is, is, is not unrealistic. Why it's not unrealistic? If you think uh, the market cap of uh, Binance coin, which is 38 billion, remember the market cap of Binance coin is 38 billion. Think about it. This is this is unrealistic, right? But whereas when I say Dent can hit 10 cents, people are looking at me as uh, unrealistic unreal speech. But this could happen for Dent Wireless. 10 cents is very easy to hit. Imagine if Dent has to hit 10 cents, how your initial investments will look like. I have got a chart for that. So, so imagine if, if people have to put $1,000 as an initial investment and the current token price is at the moment uh, one seven two zero. Oh, sorry, it's I missed a one. So it's one seven two zero. So you imagine if Dent has to hit ten cents, your thousand dollar would look like it would be worth sixty thousand dollars. So your thousand dollars would be sixty thousand dollars worth at ten cents. And if you are lucky to hit thirty cents, your thousand dollar will look like worth. $175,000. So imagine that's that's the phenomenal uh, price rise Dent could bring forth. But only this could happen if people don't panic and sell it off and to the uh, other players. So hold it away from, hold it, lock it in your app or lock it in your cold wallet. And that will create a huge price pressure on the cryptocurrency exchanges. And that will create a natural price uh, increase for Dent token. Hope, hope you get what I mean. And people who haven't downloaded the app, please go to Play Store or Apple Store and download the eSIM mobile data plan app and give it a try. And if you if you can afford, just put 10,000 tokens and lock it. And the next version of the mobile app will allow you to get free international minutes or free international or free data plans for locking the token in the mobile app. So that could happen in the next version. So get ready for the next version and I hope the if Bitcoin keeps going up for the next six months then we can see Dent hitting 10 cents is very 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 easy and realistic to happen because if Binance coin uh, an exchange token and has no other utility other than exchange value is could do 200 and 200,000 percent from its initial ICO price then imagine Dent is has done only 175 percent as we speak you can see here uh, if you go to Dent's price you can see Dent has only done 175 percent which is far away from what your Dent Binance coin has switched so even if it has to touch 10 cents it's going to be a 10x from here right 10x or 20x from here still it's far away from what your top 100 coins, coins has hit so there is quite a lot of room for growth and once people uh, travel industry opens up, people will definitely come to know about Dent. It's so easy because their front facing app is so easy to use and their target population and their market is their smartphone users. Imagine smartphone users are the target population for Dent wireless. And we roughly have more than uh, 5 billion smartphones in the world. And I showed you just now how the uh, travel industry just people in the in the traveling to these 11 countries they they account for roughly uh, 328 bill million answered users so that many subscribers are there already so just five percent of the travelers if they start using Dent wireless you will see huge number of tokens being locked in the app and once the 
10 tokens get into the app user's hands that's where the power of the token starts playing out right now the power of the token is decided by the traders the traders they never hold an asset for a long time they keep selling for penny prices small short term gains they don't look at the value they don't do value investing all they care is their profits they don't care about um, long term perspective they don't even read about what's the true nature of the business is they try to make profits and they keep swing trading and selling very if um, for swapping for bitcoin and they do that very often if the market crashes the first thing they do is they dump all the uh, tokens that's why the price of the token keeps going down for them now you understand it's not that the so people keep saying the token price was going down for 10 because the the team was dumping all the tokens that's why the price was going. it's wrong the team has only 10 billion tokens you can see for yourself the team has only 9.62 billion tokens in their hands the rest rest or market players and 15 billion is all owned by the app users they is locked in the mobile app it cannot come to the cryptocurrency exchange at all and the market yeah uh, exchange there are 45 billion in the exchange so the traders because of the r- irrational behavior of the traders which bought the price of token to tank so much low it's not the team d- dumping the tokens uh, and that's the reason for the 10 token price going up it's absolutely wrong it's absolutely wrong people who and they call this as a scam coin because of this because they have a wrong perception thinking that it's the team which is dumping and that's why the token price has gone down no it's absolutely wrong the reason the the token price has gone down is because of the traders in the cryptocurrency exchanges they are dumping it when the uh, market price market falls goes down they will dump all the tokens in millions at the instant time and that's why price crash happens so drastically for tent and imagine if uh, thousands of uh, thousands of traders who do that on a daily basis how could the price of the token could increase so imagine if you look at tron tron has 30 billion token to be released and if you look at um, other tokens like uh, let's like say xrp xrp has got 47 billion tokens still with the team they can dump it anytime they want right that, but still the token price is very high so you hope you understand what i mean it's not the team which is dumping that plays a key role for the price of tent going down it's the crypto traders irrational traders they don't look at the value right they they don't care the value behind the token but uh, hodlers they know the value they are holding it 30 billion tokens are held so now these mobile players the next version of the mobile app is going to bring new participants to the ecosystems they, they those those people will start buying tent tokens for buying mobile data and that will create the shrinkage in the crypto exchanges when that happens you are going to see uh, the price of den token surging to 10 cents and beyond that even so let's let's keep out and watch out how it goes um, and we got a good news that uh, den has been now listed in a new exchange which is a decentralized exchange people who are new to decentralized exchanges they can have a look at polarity and understand how uh, de- decentralized exchanges work but in general you can see uh, it's this is a very nice ui and the interface looks pretty clean i haven't signed up myself because uh, i don't i'm not a trader i'm not a day trader so i don't trade much so, and but the interface on a overall look it looks i read through the review for polarity exchange it looks pretty much secure because it's decentralized you hold your keys basically so that's pretty good uh and if you look at the token holders count the number is pretty interestingly increasing on a daily basis right now we have like we have exited the 41000 mark just today um just at the start of january we had only roughly 36000 token holders and now we have got 5000 more new token holders and that's the reason it's reflecting in the number of token holders in the cold wallets has increased to 30 billion now so imagine these these numbers are going to increase more as we come along because tron has roughly 10 under 10 million 10 10 million token holders so that's kind of numbers we haven't seen yet then just now has right now has r- roughly 41000 token holders once it gets really popular and travel opens up 
you are going to see the number of token holders count increasing significantly high uh, unbelievable numbers you might start seeing under thousand here and that's when you're going to see the price of the token is going to shoot out to 10 cents and beyond 10 cents and uh, that that's going to happen uh, in probably not next week or next month you have to wait uh, for next couple of years have patience and hold your tokens and store them safe and hope we could see the price rise uh, because most of the top 100 coins they are they are oversold uh, they are unre they are unrealistic price at the moment so you keep away from the top 100 tokens i would strongly advise people to keep away from uh, the top 100 tokens and i keep hearing from a lot of uh, community members asking why dent wireless is not burning their tokens uh, why can't they burn the token right so you burn the token and you create uh, shrink the supply and increase the price that will increase the price to the moon right yeah that's a good question that's what i sh i'm s talking s for one hour now <laughs> just to, instead of burning the token just hold the token because the, there are five eight billion smartphone users in the world and you're selling mobile data to a huge population you, you can see just now i showed you just 11 countries the travelers they need mobile data right it's like a commodity now and then is trying to create a open marketplace for the mobile data plans just these 11 countries 328 million people are in need of mobile data when they travel to those 11 countries so where are how so you, if you're going to have just you're going to burn your token and just have 25 million dead tokens then people have to buy their tokens in fractions you know they have to buy 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0001 token for one one gb of mobile data. that would be confusing for the end users you they will just pull their heads out you know <laughs> they, they can't read fractions of token buy fractions of tokens you know that's really very complex instead if you have 100 billion supply it's going to be really easy it will be a whole number because you have 100 billion tokens you people can buy now right now one gb of data costs like 2510 tokens at this particular price but if the token price goes to one cent then still you they will be paying like 500 tokens to buy one gb of data if the if it goes to 10 cents then they will pay need 50 dent tokens to buy one gb of data imagine if one gb of to to data uh, costs only one 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 dent token for one gb of data if that has to happen then the token price will be five dollars I hear a lot of people talking whether asking me whether dent token can hit one dollar in next four years time because the reason I am talking about four years time there is a specific reason for it the reason I am talking uh, always considering uh, a long term picture is you know the Bitcoin halving happens every four years people who are new to Bitcoin they know that every four years the uh, uh, Bitcoin arming event happens and when that ap event happens the all the token prices will go to the to the peak yeah so right now we are seeing the dent token also has gone to the peak because we are just 10 months passing we are passing 10 months before the 2020 arming for Bitcoin so the previous arming we had was last year May 2020 and since then all the coins have raised so now dent also has joined the party and there is another reason for the price of the dent token to increase as well it's because now it's officially approved by apple and they have been working with apple for more than a year to get this rolled out uh, eSIM support so now dent is officially recognized by apple that's another key reason it's not the bull market of bitcoin which uh, took the price of dent token by 5x since january 2021 so imagine the next Bitcoin halving is going to happen on March 12, 2024. So if this history has to repeat, the next 2024 event will bring make the price of DEN token to one dollar very easily. And one one very if it happens, then you need just to pay five DEN tokens to buy one GB of data. So that's that's now you can understand how one dollar will equate to. 1 GB of data. That is the realistic figure I'm saying. People who are into new to dent coin, I would strongly suggest hold or hold your fires till 2024. Don't sell them. If you want to see dent to one dollar, hold your hold your hold your patience. You will see one dollar for 
for a Dell token if you have that level of patience to hold the tokens for three years without selling them. That is, if you have that patience, you will realistically see the one dollar per Dell token in probably three years time. Not it. I'm not saying it's going to happen next month. So if next month or next week or tomorrow if the price drops, don't panic. It it has no significance. You are investing in the value of the market, right? Uh, be a value investor, not a trader. You you decide whether you want to be a trader or an investor. An investor will not. Uh, they both are mutually exclusive. People say you can be both actually. No, uh, a, a trader will will never look at value investing at all. He wouldn't care. He just wants his stock and price to keep on rising. And if it doesn't rise, he will sell and exit, and then he will buy back more. That's the attitude as a trader has. But a hodler or a value investor is completely different. He buys and holds it and sits on the pot for many years. He won't touch them. And he will leave it and just rest and let the market decide and let the business to grow and let the team to develop what they need to do to uh, acquire huge number of users for their product. So that level of patience, because remember, business cannot be built just like that. So Dent Wireless is trying to build a business, real world business. It's not a blockchain uh, project where there is no need to acquire any users. You just create a blockchain and you say, uh, my transaction fee is the best in the world. I am an Ethereum killer. All this nonsense is not going to make sense for Dent Talk, Dent Token. Dent Token is, is focused on real users of the mobile uh, world. So imagine now you have a very big challenge on with a the team. They have to. They, they are not focusing on the token price at all because they know they want to bring value to what they do by focusing on providing a better, easy to app and a better creating a better platform for doing that. So that's why I keep saying um, Dent Token as a long term perspective as huge uh, upward trend compared to even the top hundred tokens. But people wouldn't believe what I am saying because they are short term focused. They want to. So you, uh, you, there are two types of people there in the in the blockchain space. You you either be a trader or you either be a value investor. A value investor is someone who, who studies the fundamentals of the business and the revenue model of the business and the market size of the business and understands them, do his own research and he bring, he sees value in it and he buys the token because he is seeing value in it and he holds it. He won't care the daily price of the token. But in the future, but he will follow the business, but he will follow what they are doing, what, what app they are doing, what new feature they are introducing, what the team is talking on the Twitter. They will follow the team, not the uh, Telegram channel of the other people. You know, there are a lot of people who hate Den token because this flat chart, who would like? None of the traders are going to like, right? This, the traders are going to hate this chart. <laughs> Trust me. The traders, if they look at this chart, they're going to consider this as a scam coin. But people who have been in Dent community for more than four years, they know how hard the Dent team has been working behind the scenes and how hard they have worked to build such a lovely product in the past three years time. So that's why I keep saying this is a famous course from Steve Jobs. We are here to put a dent in the universe. Otherwise, why else even be here? This code makes a perfect sense for dent wireless. And they have built this perfect ecosystem targeting different types of users in the market. And I, I, I have a strong feeling that they, they will su succeed um, in building a very, acquiring a lot of millions of users to their app. And right now, as we speak, they already got 26 million users i'm i'm not surprised at all by that achievement but this is just starting up for dent uh, we will see uh, sadly 2019 january they started the easy business but 2020 february itself covid started hitting bad on them and they couldn't acquire more users that's a very bad timing for dent wireless but that is not the case in the next coming years for dent dent wireless is going to have a very good time for the next three to six months time, I bet there will be a good time coming up for uh, Dent and a lot of token holders will be rewarded for their patience. Uh, people who bought in 2017, they will be rewarded. Thanks.